and I give the uh, camera to both of the teachers and they have some um, uh, students together with them. So maybe you can see some windows uh, with uh, other than the Fabrianina Quarello technicians, also the students from Dubai and from um, Argentina. Uh, please, Atul and Vladimi, go. Hello, hello everybody. Thank you very much for this, for this uh, presentation, Anna. I really appreciate that. And it's, of course, for me, it's an honor to share this lesson with my, uh, my dear, my dearest friend, Atul Panas. Please, Atul. Hello, everyone. Good evening from uh, Dubai. This is Atul Panse. And I'm joining Vladimir today for the very unique workshop, which is called Blind Painting. So Vladimir will go first with his fast and curious painting, which I named. <laughs> and uh, then once he's, he's done with his demo, then I shall take over. So over to you, Vladimir. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much. So the idea is to share this, this little lesson. It's a very fast lesson. Uh, I really want to thanks to all the present students that share this lesson with us, with Vanina. Uh, I want to thanks Vanina. I want to thanks Marcela. I want to thanks uh, Leticia and Giovanni, and of course, Martin. Uh, the idea is uh, to, to try to paint when the, the idea of this lesson is to paint when I think that I can't paint. So if I think that I'm not able to paint, this is the lesson for me because I will understand or I will discover something that have in my mind, in my hand and in my mind to be able to paint. This is the idea of this lesson. Um, First, we will, we will paint a very quick exercise that is the synthesis of a portrait. We will understand a face, a human face, with little geometric figures. So it's a synthesis. We are not uh, looking for realism, but just for a credible image. So we are not uh, trying to to see the, 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 real, the real image of, of a portrait. We are trying to understand a, a, very, face, a very basic uh, shapes, okay? So if you follow me, we can go to the exercise directly. I have here my, my, my studio, and the idea is to work with two different papers, okay? First, we will draw very easy in a common paper, in a computer paper, you know, a printing paper, not a, not a, not a watercolor paper. And after we understand the shapes, we will paint this on a watercolor paper, okay? So let's change the, the image, for, please. Okay. I will turn on turn up the, the volume of my microphone. There you are. So you can listen to me better. Okay. Now, the idea is to understand the basic shapes on a face, okay? So we will start with a little triangle, pointing down, and two other triangles for the mouse, okay? For the top lip here. And after that, we have a little circle, not a circle. It's like an egg, you know? And after that, we have to work with this shape, like a little curve, like a parenthesis. After that, we will try to go up with a little line here and turn to the right. And we will, we will connect this triangle with this triangle 
and this triangle with this circle. In the same time, we would connect this circle with a curve, okay? That's all that we have to understand. That's all that we have to understand, not too much, okay? If you have watercolor or ink or whatever you want, you can take a plate and put some, some watercolor, I take any watercolor, you know? This is a black watercolor. We don't care about the, the trademark because we don't need a lot of quality. And we need a brush. Not a very huge brush, but we need a, a, a common brush. You can use a synthetic brush or a natural hair brush, whatever you need. I ask, please, my students to follow the, the exercise. And we will mix this black, we will mix this black with some water. And now we will cover all this place, all this place, okay? We cover that. And we will, we will paint the triangle. We will paint the two triangles of the lips. And the circle. And the curve, okay? We join all the figures and we paint the rest. We can, we can continue with the neck if you want. And we can make a little shape, a very fast shape here, okay? To make the other eye. And this is it. This is what we, we have to understand to make the shadow that represents the synthesis of a portrait, okay? If we want to add some dramatism to this, we can take, for example, something to optimize some water, you know, and we can hit the paper with that. So this is gonna to change the shape. Once we did that on a common paper, we will try to do the same in a watercolor paper. The common paper is to understand the, the geometric figures that I have to use, okay? After that, we will use a paper and a, mood, and a wood board, board or any board you have. So you have to stick this paper on the, on the wood, okay? with tape. I have already done, so we can be quicker. But the idea is you don't need to, to go so fast, so you can do this on your home. The idea is to understand again the figures. The triangle, down. Two triangles for the lips. The circle down the, the mouth and the curve for the neck, you know, here. The line, the stroke. And sometimes you, you need something here for the other, but not too much. After that, again, I will take some, some water column. And I will use that. I draw the, the triangle, the lips, the shadow down the mouth, the other eye. I continue here and turn, and I connect the shadows. I connect them. Okay? And there you have your portrait. You can continue with the line down to the neck, okay? If you want, you can make another shadow here on the, on the, on the side of the head and something for the, for the hair, okay? And after that, again, you can break that with some 
water. And let this go down. Let the, the water go down. Of course, this is a simple exercise. But if you want, you can change the color of the paper or the base. If you don't want the white, you can change and work some little stains of color before you work with the shadow, okay? And after that, with a common kitchen paper, you take off the rest of the water. And you leave that to get dry, okay? That's the idea. Okay, now, I would like to see what happened with the portraits of my, my students and the rest of the people that is sharing this class. You can see my portrait, uh, Vladimir, Mr. Teacher. Let me see that. Let me see that. Okay. That was amazing. I ask. Your technique is amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, please, please. I'm very happy to share that with all of us. Amazing. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. It's amazing. Thank you very much. Let me see Vanina and Marcela, what's going on? Oh, Vanina is sharing that. <laughs> Let me see Leticia. Okay, great. Amazing, amazing, beautiful. Okay, so I think it's done. If you think we can share the, the rest of the lesson, Natul, please. Oh, you are done? So that yes, yes, of course. That is, that is it. <laughs> I think that that was the fastest workshop I ever saw. That's really good. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't know. Do you want to? Do you want to, uh, do you want to explain anything more, or anyone uh, wants wants to ask anything? Maybe there's some questions on the YouTube, Anna. Please let me know if there is. Yes. You have to unmute your mic, Anna. Actually, sorry, but I was painting, so I was not watching at, at the YouTube. But uh, I think this is beautiful, Vladimir, and uh, it's good to be done. I, the first one I did on um, uh, a common piece of paper, and it is oh. very uh, glue, very glue. So yeah. it is, you, you see, it is good that the painting goes down Absolutely. and moves, the water moves, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's very dramatic. It's kind of something. But no it's, questions from from uh, from the web. Not not awesome. at least. It's th this exercise. I think this exercise is good for people that think that can't uh, make a, a watercolor painting. But it's it's good for for watercolorist people to put out our shadows. You know, to work with our inside monsters. If we put this out, we can't work. We can work uh, better on the rest of our paintings because we put out all the dramatism, we put out all the shadows, you know. So for me, it's a very, very nice exercise. Well, I think Atul, we can we can continue with the lesson if you want. Yes. Yeah. No. I was saying uh, your uh, your uh, experiment which is actually helping people to, to get over quickly with, you know, portrait, because most of the times people get scared of portraits, you see? Atul, so this may, is really... Atul, may I interrupt you before you go yes. on? So, sorry, yes. but um, all the leaders are greetings and they say it was very clear. Didier Brot says, no, um, we are not asking because everything is very clear. But there is this lady, she's called Claudia Garcia, and she, she asked if it is possible to repeat all the sequence of the, um, that, that uh, Vladimir has done, just to, to repeat. 
Okay, yes, of Can course. You yes, please, please. Let's do that again. First of all, we need to understand the shapes in a drawing. So, the idea is, is my camera on? Okay, one. Uh, the idea is to work with a little triangle, with a little triangle, and two triangles for the lips. After that, after that, we make a little leg here, and like a parenthesis. That's it. And we put this line up like a, like an arrow, you know? This is an arrow for the nose. And we turn right for the stroke, for the, the rest of the eye. We can work something here, but we don't need to, be, to make a lot here. And then we have to connect this triangle with this, with a little curve, and this triangle with the other one, and this one with the other one. This is a synthesis with geometric figures, you know, triangles, circles, not too much. After that, in a common paper, I am working in a common paper. If you need to, to stick the paper because you feel more comfortable with that, or because you, you are going to put some water inside, but this is a very fast exercise. You don't need to, you, you have to understand the shapes, not to, to be, be worrying about if this is, you work an eye, the triangle, the mouse with two triangles, and this, it's a very simple stroke for the circle, the curve, and you join that, join all this. Because the expression is here in the mouth and the shadow behind the mouth. And you cover all the rest of the face. And after that, if you want, you can break to add some dramatism. You can break all this figure with some water. And let this go down. Like Nicolas Lopez, my dearest master in work of. I love his work, of course. So there you are. This is the idea of the synthesis. After you understand that in a common paper, you can repeat that on a watercolor paper. And of course, if you want, you can work with some color stains before you do that. You paint some color, some colors. You get dry, get uh, you dry the paper. And after that, you work with the shadows. And that is it. Well. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks for the for asking. Atul, you can go on. And maybe okay, no. we can remind the audience that they can see um, the recording of these classes later on in YouTube. Go on, Atul. Okay, sure. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Vladimir, for okay. such, such a lovely demo. I really loved it. And that's what I was saying, that uh, portrait is something which people get scared of. And this was the easiest way of making portrait. Now... This, uh, both the workshops, like the, both the demos, like which is done by Vladimir and now which I'm going to share with you, you all, uh, basically this workshop is focused on, uh, on people who are so-called beginners and who are kind of uh, hesitant to try out drawing and painting. So my, my experiment, which is called the blind painting, it is based on totally 
and accidental effects which we generally get with the help of watercolors now as you can see uh, i am i'm using two cameras one is uh, for uh, showing my artboard and one is for uh, showing myself so as you can see on my uh, this artboard i have i have kept three colors ready so you can choose any three colors and uh, prepare three colors ready in your palette so when i am saying three colors uh, i mean to say better you use uh, watercolors so we are going to experiment with watercolor and uh, if you have a3 size paper or a4 size paper that will be great maybe you can keep two or three papers with you so that in case you are not happy with the, with the first experiment you can go ahead with second experiment because there are no boundaries and art is all about no boundaries so we are going to uh, experience our experiment with no boundaries so here is the concept <clears throat> once your three colors are ready and i have three brushes ready here you know these three brushes for these three colors and you must be wondering what is this blind painting is all about so <clears throat> i have kept few uh, you know few uh, templates ready to make you understand so basically we are going to take one brush and load it with one color let's say i am taking this color which is kind of yellow ochre and between orange shade so this color i my brush is loaded with uh, with this color okay so once you load your brush bring it on your paper bring it on your artboard okay once you bring it uh, on your artboard you can actually you are going to close your eyes so that means <laughs> you are going to keep your one hand on your eyes or if you don't want to do that make sure that you are not going to see uh, you are not going to look at your paper while you are painting so my idea is very interesting here i am saying load your brush with uh, any any of the color okay choose any three colors keep your uh, brushes ready and as i showed you load your brush with one color and bring it on your paper so once you once you bring your brush on your paper close your eyes and then start you know moving your brush and you don't know where exactly your brush is moving and what kind of uh, you know what kind of shape you are going to see once you open your eyes so you 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 keep continue with moving your brush and once it is done then you see a surprising uh, you know result here so that's what i see here this is the first step okay now why we are doing this so the concept behind this is in this world nothing is perfect this nature is not that perfect but we love nature everyone loves nature in nature nothing is perfect if you look at the mountains they are not like similar they are not placed in uh, with you know proper intervals and if you look at the tree they are not perfectly straight or the branches are not divided at the same you know uh, with the measurement i mean to say so nothing is perfect but still we enjoy the nature a lot okay so that's what this experiment is all about when you close your eyes and move your brush you basically see one shape coming out of nowhere this is kind of an accidental shape and then <clears throat> you are going to pick your another brush okay with another color and now you bring your brush on the paper okay now this is the first time uh, which i am explaining later on i will explain again uh, you just watch watch me painting and then i will explain what what is what should be done uh, in the next step so bring your brush again on the paper and this time again you have to close your eyes and after you after closing your eyes 
you have to move your brush wherever you want to move. So I, I close my eyes and I, you know, I start painting and uh, you can actually choose, you can break uh, the, the painting strokes and you can paint wherever you want to paint. And you are not looking at the paper. Your brush may go out of the paper, let it go, let it go. Don't worry, you know, let it go. So use full freedom. And then, okay, this is the result now, what I see here. So after this, I'm going to pick another brush, which will be loaded with, now I'm loading it with blue color. Okay. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing. I will bring it on the paper. I will close my eyes and I will move my brush and without knowing that what is happen happening here. So while doing this, so I close my eyes, I'm moving my brush and and I think I'm done. So you see here, you see the accident here. <clears throat> now, now there is a small challenge for us. Out of this accident, you know, out of this, this accidental beauty, you may find uh, some flowers are coming up. You may find a shape of tree. You may find a shape of, uh, uh, you know, a, a house or tree or mountain, anything. At it, I mean, it is up to your imagination. And once you find something interesting, now this time you are not going to close your eyes and you are going to uh, use other colors to make this, you know, something beautiful. So as, as you can see here, these are the accidental results, which, uh, which I'm getting here. Now I want to create this into an art piece. So I think I will go ahead and create some flowers because flowers are the, are the most beautiful thing in this world. And uh, painting flower is very easy that way uh, because there are no uh, you know, particular shape or sizes. So it is not, it is not uh, difficult as uh, you know, portraits because the portraits, portraits are uh, really, really difficult sometimes. So flowers are very easy to make. And uh, I want you to try this experiment. And now I want, uh, I want you to uh, make sure that you understood the whole process. In case you have any question, you can ask me now. I can see few people are already painting here, very good. So if anybody is having any question, they can raise their questions and you know, uh, they can send messages. Okay. I can see this is very good. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Wow. Okay, so now whatever results you have, now the next challenge is you have to take it as a challenge and make it, uh, use other colors, use your other brushes, I'm trying to bring, I try to try to bring something out of it, you know, try to paint flowers, try to paint maybe bird. If you see something uh, different, you can, you know, just enhance the picture with your imagination. <clears throat> so I'm going to work on this. I will continue with this and, or maybe I will, I will do another experiment, uh, accidental experiment, and then we shall continue with creating Okay, so, so I'm going to paint again. So the same color, I have three colors here I'm going to use. So I'm starting again. If anybody is willing to see how this can be done. So this is another demo for all of you. Now I'm closing my eyes. And after closing my eyes, I'll start painting with this color. So I'm closing my eyes and then I'm painting. I suggest all of you to go for, uh, to go for bigger brushes, use bigger brushes so that you can actually, you know, actually uh, enjoy the, the accidental results. If you are using very thin brush, you won't get that, you know, powerful result. So I'm done with first color.
this time I'm going to take this purple color and then I close my eyes again. So I'm done with the second one. And then now this is the time when I use third color, which is the blue color. So I close my eyes again. And I'm done. Here, I want to suggest you one more one more thing. If you are, if you if you are willing to go ahead and paint again on the same paper, you can keep going on with your closed eyes till you are done with the, painting the whole paper. And believe me or not, you are going to see an amazing result which you will never think of. You see, so try that as well. Unless Atul, uh, sorry, can yes. I ask you something? Sure. Can I paint a little with only water, only clean water? Uh, only clean water? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Absolutely. Yeah, do that. And awesome. then, then Thank add you. colors. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, great. Go ahead. So I was suggesting to go ahead with, with non-stop painting. Okay. So let's see what happens if I go ahead with non-stop painting. I just saw someone was, Vanina, you were showing your painting, right? Anna, this is fantastic. <laughs> this is fabulous. Seriously. Wow. I'm hoping that people who are watching this, this is beautiful. Wow, fantastic. So are you enjoying this process? Very good. Vladimir. It, it, it's <laughs> so nice. Okay, great. Vladimir, go ahead. Uh, you can enhance it more if you want. Go ahead, add some more strokes if you want. I mean, this is looking anyway fantastic. Yes, yeah, yeah. I will put some, I will try this first. Yes, sure. Yes, yes, awesome. sure. So guys, I'm going ahead with the, my closed eyes again, and I'm going to fill this uh, paper with full, I mean, fully, totally. I will not stop. I will close my eyes. I will go ahead with painting. I want to see what happens. And you are also there to see. So my, my brush is loaded with blue color again, and I'm going to uh, paint. This time I will try another thing, which is called splashes. So I will close my eyes and put some splashes. I want to see what happens, okay? So I'm closing my eyes and you see, few splashes and <clears throat> wow. Do you see this? This is beautiful. See, I'm self-praising. <laughs> So I close my eyes again. I'm going to pick this yellowish color. This is so nice. Atul, I want to tell you that we have 66, uh, 76, sorry, 77 at the moment. Uh, students following us by YouTube. And maybe we can ask all of them to post what they have done later on in the Facebook Fabriani Aquarello group, okay? Sure, yes. We would love to see that. We would love to see uh, the results, right? That is really good. That is what this uh, workshop is all about. Anna, do you see here the splashes? which I just created. So I'm going to uh, close my eyes again and continue with painting. So 
So I'm painting with blue color again. So my eyes are closed and I don't know where the splashes are going. I have to check. Wow. Atul, let, let me ask you a question. Sure. When you, when you close your eyes and you paint, yes. Do you imagine anything or you, ju you just drop the color and uh, whatever happened, happened? I do not imagine, Anna. I, I, I'm always curious to see what happens next. So the imagination starts once I see the accident. Once I see the accidents, then the imagination starts. Then imagine, imagination takes place. So before that, I do not imagine. So just to let everyone know that this is my uh, sixth workshop of this kind. Vanina, this is nice. I can see that. Beautiful. Great splashes. And in every workshop, we, we saw beautiful, amazing results, which people never thought of. And uh, this, this can be a turning point for someone who is always afraid of using colors, who is always afraid of painting, who is always afraid of thinking that painting is very difficult because you have to go through the process of drawing first. So people are not very comfortable with drawing complex things. And then, uh, you know, you end up uh, uh, thinking that, no, uh, I can't do it. Now this process will give you a lot of freedom to use a lot of splashes, colors, and deal with, this is Giovanni, that is the yeah, very nice. And this, this experiment will actually get you the power of imagination because you are dealing with accidents of different colors, which you never thought of. And this imagination will encourage you to think of many different shapes, and create something it something out of uh, out of it you know so i can see my paper is almost getting covered slowly and there are few places where i can use few colors so i can choose one point but still i have to close my eyes before I go ahead with my painting. And I'm using splashes. I don't know where they are going. So splashes are the, are the symbols of uh, freedom. Whenever you add splashes, it gives you the feel of freedom. Now, another thing which I want to suggest that after uh, looking at these uh, accidental results, if you want, you can use pen and ink as well. Do not stop yourself. If you think that you can use pen to create something out of it, you can do that. Use pen and ink. So no boundaries at all. If you want to use color pencils, you can use color pencils. Basically, why we are using watercolor? Because watercolor gives you a lot of freedom to, to see the quick results, you know? And uh, the flow is so beautiful, uh, which no one can handle, and you don't need to handle it, basically. You just need to 
enjoy the accidents so enjoy your accidents continue with your experiment and do not forget to post on facebook you have to use hashtag fabriano and aquarello 2021 and this experiment which i am sharing with you this is my uh, most memorable time i would say because because we are connected from all over the world through this uh, social media and uh, uh, you know the the mood of festival is already on even though we are not together in hd this time but we are painting together and we are having fun for sure i hope you all you all are enjoying this uh, workshop and i look forward to see you again with more experiments now anyone wants Atul. to ask any question please go ahead and uh, continue with your painting fantastic vladimir i found out I found out two beautiful fishes yes. there yes beautiful. this is this is negative and positive beautiful beautiful that's what we need here Super. thank you very much thank you for your lesson for, for the <laughs> nice lesson that's awesome you can fill more colors pratidhya you can fill more colors you, your paper your paper wants more colors yeah my paper is a cold press paper and my <laughs> colors are pinacridon pinacridon pink and salo blu turquoise and and yellow yellow medium azo yellow yeah i can see that beautiful thank you so much it's <laughs> funny Uh, I am not sure what I am seeing yet, but I like it. Why I'm seeing? It's like <laughs> I like so I much. I like it too. I like uh, it too. Thank you so much because I am this kind of person that is very like taking a bit of pain for here, no much water. It's like I am afraid. So this exercise is like wow. It's like so <laughs> relaxing and uh, the freedom. So thank you very much for for sharing this. Yeah, this this experiment is all about using your freedom. Use your freedom and enjoy your your painting. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm glad to see thank that. Thank you so much. Most welcome. My pleasure. So now I am working with my open eyes, not closed eyes. So please let me know when the time is up so we can conclude our demo Atul may, yes. maybe we can do another experiment that you 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 asked me to do a few days ago you asked me to paint with the left hand i am right hand writing actually yes so. <laughs> maybe I we can also so. suggest the people to do it because these things is also very um, uh, kind of unbalancing you and then later you realize that your hands have done something that you could imagine and it is even better than what you wanted to do yes anna <clears throat> you're right you that's what we did in last workshop and i always encourage people to use the other hand which they generally don't use and uh, you get to see very you know beautiful accidental results surprising results the big surprise is uh, the big surprise is you never imagine that you know you can really paint well with your other hand so i'm uh, i paint with my right hand but i have 
I have practiced painting with left hand and I, I, I saw, you know, surprising results. And this happens with everyone. I suggest everyone to go ahead with one more step and uh, try, try using other hand, okay? Now this time choice is yours. If you want to go ahead with blind painting, you can go ahead with blind painting while using the other hand, which you generally don't use. And if you want to go ahead with the painting with open eyes, that also you can do. Use your other hand. So like right-handed people will use left hand and left-handed people will use right hand. Try this out. This is something which is going to bring you more confidence for sure. I'm very sure. Try it out, try it now. This is the time. This is the right time to try. So take another paper, uh, take colors, keep your palette on the other side and then start painting with other hand. Try it out. I'll also do so. So I want to give you one more tip when when you are going to try this kind of painting, uh, you know, we are dealing with colors and colors play major role in painting. Most of the time, uh, most of the time people are confused with uh, what to choose, which colors to choose and uh, how to make painting look beautiful. Now, there is a simple uh, way of uh, choosing colors. You can use complementary colors. There are three sets of complementary colors you must be knowing. I'm explaining you because, uh, because we are focusing on beginners here. So that's why I'm explaining you. I know most of the people know about it, but I just want to remind them that when you are confused with the choosing colors, let's say we, we want to choose three colors. So you can choose two colors which are complementary to each other. And the third color will be a color which is related to one of them or both of them. So that can be done. So try that. When you want to choose your colors and you are confused, always remember you can start with complementary colors. So orange is the complementary colors color to blue. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, green complements red. So purple complements yellow. Now you can choose yellow and purple, and then uh, the third color will be a color which can go well with both the colors, you see? So uh, try that, like you can choose purple and yellow, and then third color can be green, you see? So uh, because in green, green is uh, made with blue plus yellow, okay? And in purple, there is blue. So they, they are all related to each other. So you can, you can choose in this way and you can see the results, uh, guaranteed, you know, beautiful results. You can try this. So this time I'm going to paint with left hand. So I close my eyes and then obviously this is the most easiest painting with left hand I have ever done because I'm not worried about the shape. Thank you. 
Okay, so I see here the accident. This looks beautiful. <clears throat> You know and what? I, I, I wouldn't call it. The, the, I would. I wouldn't call it the accident, but I would <laughs> rather call it that you allowed yourself to do something that you would have not allowed to yourself to do in a normal condition, and True then you, you get amazed that you did something. This is it. Yes. <laughs> Looks good. Looks good, Anna. I can see the happiness on people's face, faces. <laughs> For sure, uh, regardless of what happens, what kind of result you get. But one thing is sure that you get happiness. <laughs> So I'm trying to get some shapes of flowers here. Are you still using your left hand as a tool? Yes, I'm using my left hand. This painting is done with my left hand. So, Most of the time when you work with limited colors, you see, you see results which are, which are amazing, which you do not realize that using two, three colors actually bring a lot of beauty in it. If you want to make your painting beautiful, million colors are not required. Only a few colors are good.
So uh, in my next demo, which will be which will be done for Fabriano and Aquarello again, you are going to see the techniques of using uh, techniques of uh, making portraits. So that will be my next demo. That is going to be, if I remember right, in two days. On first, yes. You are right, Anna. And tonight, um, in uh, what time is it now? In uh, four hours, we are going to have a gong concert. Gong, you, you understand what it is a gong? Um, the music done by, by vibrations of metallic. And um, during the gong concert, we ask the artist, if you like to do, of course, to try to paint uh, even blind or uh, with the accident, like Atul's calls it. And maybe you can use the vibration of the gong to inspire uh, yourself and to move your hands. And later on, please again post in uh, the Facebook group, uh, Fabriani Aquarello Facebook group, if you, if you like whatever you have done. So it is yeah. a way to feel that we are painting together. Beautiful. This is nice. <laughs> Superb. Happy to see the results. I look forward to it, uh, Anna, for the concert. Yeah. And that's a nice idea, actually. People can use this uh, experiment again. Actually, what we did now was kind of, a, uh, we didn't know it is a chance, but it was kind of a preparation for tonight's concert at all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I like the idea. Now I think that when we are, we, we are not in a hurry, but I think that if we are finished, we can show all our artworks. Yes. And maybe Claudia can give us the gallery camera. So the all of us are going to. Oh, well, that's a nice idea. Yes. So uh, with watercolor, the best thing is you can use transparent, you know, transparency, uh, the quality of transparency. This is beautiful, Atul. Thank you so much, Anna. So <clears throat> I think uh, people should continue with experiments and uh, let's pause for the picture. Let, let's show all of them all together. Yes. So let me show. Anyway, my, my one camera is showing this, so I will show the other. So thank you a lot, Atul. Thank you a lot, Vladimir, <coughs> for your generosity and for uh, inspiring us and stimulating us to do something new and something completely free that is very important that art gives us the possibility to feel free sometimes more than we do usually in our everyday life. Thank you, masters. Thank you. Thanks to Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank thanks, very, very much. thanks, everyone. Thank you very much, Atul. And thanks for the students.